Where the fuck did they come from? Hmm. She's on her period, dude. <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to do this. <laughs> and there's Josh. Um, he looks like Freddie Mercury. And I, I never. I always went to tell him. And <laughs> I'm not gonna get the chance to do that, dude. <laughs> Matt, why are you? Oh God! <laughs> Emily, you're such a bitch. And I, I, why couldn't you have died? <laughs> You need help, because you're a woman. Am I right, man? I five. Oh God! <laughs> sure, it's definitely split up. Yeah, let's leave. Let's leave them here by themselves. Clearly traumatized. <laughs> nice one, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to wait around. <laughs> You know, you might dislike Emily, but at least she came up with a plan and calmed everyone down a bit. Mm hmm. Actually, this girl is gonna watch her blow up you. Oh, God! <laughs> <gasps> Something's definitely happening now. Something is definitely happening. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I meant to save Josh, to be honest. <laughs> so no, no, it's not. <laughs> Josh didn't. <laughs> he lost his brother and his sister. Ooh. Who are you? <laughs> but do what you want. Actually, no, do what you want. But what do you want? Yeah. Oh, I guess I turned it off then. <laughs> no, we need the hand revenue. You're freaking me out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> the heart of the problem it all comes down to this. If you really need help, you gotta do it. Oh yeah, because you just said you don't exist. Yeah. Doctor, why'd you keep a tranchula in a jar on your desk? There's no oxygen in there, it'll die. What a prick. Oh, woo. <laughs> Coming back to this. <laughs> Daddy Bear! <laughs> <laughs> He's been half the man he used to be since he lost his sisters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 shall we get legless? That's not funny. <laughs> oh, dare, a man died tonight. <laughs> a legend. And it wasn't from HIV. <laughs> Jessica! Jessica! Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, miracle if he survived. <laughs> there is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Right. Ooh. Let's go hunt this guy. Right, keep in mind that um, it's meant to have been 40 minutes since Jess 
fell down that elevator right. shaft. Yeah. It hasn't been 40 minutes. <laughs> it's been about five for him. Yeah. Very easily. I do like this. One of the things I really like about the graphics of this game is how fucked up all the characters look towards the end. Hmm. Right. Yeah, you can see actual stuff happen to them. It's good. Even though he didn't look like that last part. <laughs> no. Just go down some ditches or something. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Jessica! <laughs> it's like the beginning of Resident Evil game. <laughs> Go to the sanitarium. Always a classic place in horror. Sure, this will be fine. Sorry. There's some clues to get around here. So let's. Uh, I've totally forgotten how you speed up. Oh, wrong one. Not that. I did the same thing you did. I just freaked out. I forgot how to play any video game ever. <laughs> <laughs> Doggos! <laughs> I don't even care that Jess is dead. I'm home. <laughs> March dawn, March wow. <laughs> Heck in death. <laughs> uh, uh, my friend died. <laughs> Heck you! Spoops. Seems so. Oh, he's got there. Why would you go in through the basement and not the front door? Not the easiest way. Shiny. Oh. Dude. That was not a loot. <laughs> Ready, set, go. <laughs> Ready, set. I should get some basic platforming in this horror game. <laughs> Super Mikeyo. I guess you weren't wrong to call him Mario Mario. No. Video in the hole in the zip floor. Or ceiling, depending on which way you're looking at it. <laughs>
I'm home, doggos. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a do one of those doges in this game. <laughs> what a good idea. I guess we need the chapel security pass. Let's go find one. Why is it? I know it's a thing in the horror fiction that sanitariums are like the scariest places in the world. Why the fuck are they the scariest places on the planet? No idea. Uh, even ones that aren't abandoned are fucking spooky. Mm. I guess it's a whole connotation of um, medicine gone wrong, really. Mm. That whole, um, you know, if you're if you're there, you're. You're not going to be looked after properly or something like that. Something like that, yeah. Look at these. What a bills. <laughs> It's weird that they kind of whisper to themselves like that. Mm. So the sanitarium is really the place where everything starts coming together, really. Like, what's really happening around here. No. I'm going to spoil this for you now. There's not a lot of jump. There's not really any jump scares. The way you turn that around was pretty... <laughs> he turned his whole wrist around. There's not really anything that scary around her. Which is why I'm not really being that cautious. Fair enough. That's something I have noticed. That the game does get progressively less scary as you go along. It's not something like Resident Evil. Which for me personally only gets more terrifying. Mm. I guess maybe it's more just about working all this crap out now. And... Yeah, I kind of find a lot of. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that hasn't that's still not answered by the time you get to the end of the game. So I, I that's the level of interest I get out of the story. Mm. But uh, I, I think like this is once you learn what's going on. I think that's when the story gets really interesting. But, I mean, we've had to... I mean, we've been entertaining ourselves by making voices and making fun of the characters. But if you're playing it, it's, it's kind of hard to want to keep going. It's taken quite a while to get to here. Yeah. So, what was it? We did three parts, so two and a half hours? We've done about... Because I'm going to be... Actually, and this, probably about three hours. Because I'm going to be cutting all this up. This is about seven parts, maybe. Yeah. It's been about three hours so far of actual just gameplay, though, for us. Nice. But if you were doing it yourself, and this was your first time, it would take you a lot longer. You wouldn't be rushing through all of this. But, yeah, the thing is, I'm not really rushing. It's just I know where I have to go exactly yeah, where I have so to go. You could end up looking around for ages, otherwise. I missed... I've missed... The first time I played it, I did miss a lot of stuff. So a lot of the stuff I'm looking for now, like this, is just through hindsight and kind of um, experimenting with the environment and stuff really. Oh, yeah, exactly. What happened here? Took me at a fucking tea party. 
I hope not. Not like an Alice in Wonderland one, because that that book's about mental illness. You're not helping the spoops, George. <laughs> in fact, you're making them kind of worse. What do you think's happened so far? If you could, t if you just off the top of your head, if you just took a guess right now, what do you think's gone on? In this place, or just in the game in this real time. Um, just everything that's happening. Do you think? What do you think's happened in this in this place? Like, was something Scotty gone wrong? As it generally does in these games. <laughs> I'm not guessing a lot, but it's standard sort of crap that usually happens. Something's gone wrong, been something has turned someone a bit a dodgy. Yeah. He went on and got sent away, got back, come and did this. Got Sorry. for a few, got sent away for a while, come back, it's gone a bit funny. Uh, you kind of right. Come after these people. Yeah. Wraps up like a Scooby Doo mystery, we're all good. I hope it does. Mr. Jenkins. Mr. Jenkins? Do you reckon Peter Stormare's the Mr. Jenkins in this? Mm, definitely. I hope so. It can be really annoying finding all the clues that you need to find. Right, now, there's a thing you can do here, which I'm going to give you the choice whether you want to... Oh, no, hang on. I went order it for that. But uh, I'll give you the choice whether you want to do it. Right, that hand there, do you want to grab it? It sounds like a bad idea, but maybe you get something for doing it. You do not get something for doing it. Well, then no, there's no point. Okay, we'll leave it. What happens if you grab it? I'm going to grab it. Fine. That was pointless, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That was a good idea. Alright, we've got a choice here. Open it? Yes. Uh, machetes are not that strong. They're pretty brittle. Let's try again. Oh, yeah, it's quite bendy. Oh. I swear that just fell through the thing. <laughs> it looked like it. Amputate. We've only got a little bit of machete left. Go ahead, Doctor. And he's got a very tiny... Oh, man. That's meant to make it so much worse. Yeah. Do you remember when he did it in Heavy Right? <laughs> Maybe because he's in such an incredible amount of pain already, but he just can't, can't seem to just do it. Yeah. You've got something for the doggos. <laughs> yep, Mike loses two fingers. That's what happens if you pick that up. Fair enough. And now your machete's ruined. <laughs> Those are my favourite fingers. <laughs> Oh dear, we're in a morgue. Let's have a look around here. This place just gets better and better. Just 
Strange happens. Strange things are happening. <laughs> Fucking Randy Newman. <laughs> How much would someone have to pay to work in a morgue? Well, at least minimum wage, I'd hope. <laughs> I would never ever work in a morgue. No. Let's go for that. Okay, let's see this out. Yeah. <laughs> That's a strange job to want to do. Let's check these other ones. Shiny, that's the problem. What a lucky little. <laughs> Imagine if Scary Terry was in one of these. <laughs> little bitch. Oh. Okay, that one, this guy was attacked by an inmate apparently. Mm. Looks like something weird is happening here. Let's leave. Plonk. <laughs> Is that one of those um, old punch-in card things? No, it's some, obviously some very old tech, but it's a bit weird. Yeah. Kind of cute that you called that tech. <laughs> well, it is in a way. Old technology. No. Hello, friend. Friend! Friend, you're going the wrong way! The cuddles are this way! <laughs> I know you're in there, friend! <laughs> Hecking good boy out here. <laughs> there he is, son of a... Son of a bitch! He put the trap there! Spoiler alert, that was actually him who put that trap there. <laughs> 